And good evening to you everyone. The group Buffalo Pro Soccer today announcing an exclusive agreement with the United Soccer League to bring a pro club here to Western New York. Now we told you some of the details about this last half hour. In a moment here on Voices, we're going to hear directly from a top executive with the USL with questions tonight about the financing, building a new stadium, and why Buffalo. First though, the man behind this effort, his name is Peter Marlette Jr. He told me that this has been in the works for quite a while and he's ready to go public now because he plans for his team to participate in the 2026 season, which begins precisely two years from now. He still needs to raise a lot of money and he needs to build a stadium, but he also wants to hear from you. His longtime dream is now coming to fruition and you play a big part. We haven't picked a, a club crest, a club name, club colors, any of that stuff. And that's intentional. That's because we want to get community input. We want this to be a club that truly represents this city and this region. So take a look at the map. There are currently 24 teams in the USL Championship League. That's the one in which Buffalo plans to play in two years. You can see lots of teams out west, quite a few in the south, but nearby clubs in Pittsburgh and Detroit as well. Joining me live is Justin Paladakis, the deputy CEO of the USL Papadakis. I apologize. Um, great to have you on, Justin. Uh, let me just start here by asking you. I know that there were some plans in 2019 to try to have a club here in Buffalo. Obviously, the pandemic happened after that. Here we are with this announcement today. Um, why Buffalo from your league's perspective? Michael, thanks for having me on. If there's one thing that Buffalo uh, residents know it's professional sports so um, you can go to buffalo for for 10 minutes and see the avidity that buffalo uh, residents have for their professional sports team and so when we thought about where we would want to have our next franchise uh, buffalo is an easy choice Obviously, you sometimes have clubs that come and go. You've been through this before with expansion teams. Um, what, what will the process be like now here in Buffalo to try to get this team ready to go two years from now? Well, as, as you mentioned in your piece with Peter, uh, we, we're announcing it today, but there's been so much work done uh, to get to this point. And Peter is putting together an amazing uh, local group uh, to bring a first class uh, professional soccer team to Buffalo. Uh, but we have the biggest thing is the stadium. And so we've been hard at work and we've identified several sites and we're now in the due diligence period uh, to now talk with all the stakeholders uh, for those sites um, and pick the perfect location uh, for Buffalo Pro Soccer. We have a full story uh, coming up at six o'clock tonight. I talked uh, at length about all of this with Peter, and one of the questions I asked him was about the cost of a new stadium. He says perhaps, you know, 10, 15 million dollars. In the, in the other cities where you now have teams, was the stadium and getting that constructed always one of the big challenges? And I know in some places there might be existing facilities. I think the plan here in Buffalo, right, is to, to build a new stadium. So stadiums are complicated and stadiums are expensive. As the city uh, saw with, with the Buffalo Bills Stadium, uh, these are just difficult projects and involve so many different stakeholders uh, to, to get over the line. Uh, but what we have been working on is really thinking about how to cost engineer the stadium uh, so that we can make it affordable, but also, and, and most importantly, not reduce uh, the fan experience. And so I, I'm uh, very confident we can do both and we're gonna be hard at work on that over, over the coming months. I wanna ask you a little bit about the league for people who might not be familiar, but just to kind of wrap up the plan here in Buffalo, um, how confident are you that this actually happens two years from now, right? Because you have to still lock the financing in, you gotta deal with the stadium, but should people who are watching this um, walk away from it thinking this is gonna happen? Yes, so 2026 is gonna be the year for soccer in Buffalo and in the United States. So not only are we, we believe that we can have Buffalo pro soccer coming, but the World Cup will also be coming to the United States. So having those two, uh, you know, soccer is gonna be in the spotlight and, you know, come 2026, uh, the, the whole country and the world will know 
uh, how powerful Buffalo uh, soccer is. Yeah, soccer fans here uh, just can't wait for that. And then you add today's news on top of it. I know there's a lot of excitement. As I was researching um, your league, so USL, United Soccer League, has several divisions, right? USL Championship yep. is the one in which Buffalo would play. It's the top. It's right under Major League Soccer. And, you know, you've signed TV deals for some national broadcasts with ESPN and CBS. I mean, how much has this league grown as, I guess, would you compare it to like a, a AAA affiliate of a Major League Baseball team? So there are some similarities, but soccer is unique mm -hmm. in that we don't have a major league, minor league structure. Uh, so that makes it different than minor league baseball. A couple of the big differences. One, all the players um, are not, they're not uh, signed by a parent club. So all of our players live, will live in Buffalo. They'll raise their families in Buffalo and they will really be part of the, of the Buffalo community. And as you mentioned, uh, another difference is that all of our games um, are, are broadcast live, uh, whether it's on, on ESPN Plus or CBS. And so there is an elevated experience uh, to that on the men's side. On the women's side, uh, the, the, the Super League is Division I. And so I think combining both of those is going to be really powerful. It's a differentiator. Uh, between soccer and other sports where you have both men and women, boys and girls. And so I think all those elements, uh, you're going to have the excitement uh, of a Bison game, a Sabre game, and a Bills game. And uh, there is just nothing like the electricity and the soundtrack of professional soccer. Finally, Justin, I only have probably 20 seconds left, but I just want to ask you, when, when do you think we will hear about the next step, whether it's announcing where a stadium can go or announcing an owner or announcing significant financing? How quickly do you want that to happen? Well, we're looking at uh, 2024 is our year, so there's going to be a lot of work uh, over the coming months. But as Peter said in the clip, this is really a community effort. So why we have a lot of great people working on it, but this is Buffalo's team. And we're going to be having a lot of listening sessions because we want to know what this club needs to represent Buffalo in every aspect. And so we look forward to interacting uh, with, with the city uh, to make sure that this club represents Buffalo. And I just can't wait uh, to see uh, this club, uh, you know, take on the, the country and the world uh, with their own professional soccer team. BuffaloProSoccer.com is the website that just went live today. More information there. Justin Papadakis is the deputy CEO of the United Soccer League. Thanks for your time, sir. And again, we have more on this coming up at 6. We appreciate it.